what's up guys and welcome to my 24th video tutorial on PHP and uh, in this video I said to you guys that uh, I was going to start um, to show you how to do an update to your uh, values in the database but instead uh, of doing that before we do that I want I want to clean up a little bit our uh, website because it's a little bit messy and I want to make uh, um, a simple website but a presentable website so I'm gonna show you a few things to make your website more presentable and starting uh, starting from the our homepage that we don't have yet so our homepage we're gonna start doing our homepage and um, we need a new file for that so let's go to open or create new file and let's create HTML close HTML and let's add close head body and close close body inside the body or before we type anything else let's save as let's save oops let's save as home okay save as and in here in the body we we will type mm, 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 mm. let's say here h h1 and let's say let's center this and let's type here welcome to crud center you can type something control center welcome to crud control center so let's save this and I want also to create another file and in this file we will create links to um, some of the files or the scripts that we're doing okay and um, let's say well we don't need PHP let's say P A href equals and here we can type home dot PHP and let's type here home A okay and A href href and here we can type the register it's not register it's the form dot php and let's type here register a href equals and uh, let's type here a file that we don't have yet which is the update dot php that we will do in the next video and here let's type edit user and in here we're going to type delete dot php we don't have that yet as well and delete user okay so 
Now let's save this, save as. We can type here links, save. Okay, so now in the where is home here? I want to type at the at the bottom, okay, or here. I want to type include. Let's open PHP. PHP and here let's type include. Include links. Dot PHP. Okay. And close that. Okay. And uh, let's say here P. And let's save that. Let's go here to home. Okay, that's it. Welcome to CRUD Control Center. We have home, register, edit user. I don't like this um, this way. So let's do here uh, line break. Here line break as well. And here line break as well. And here line break as well. We can also type here center and here center save this let's refresh this and that's better okay we can make that a little uh, a little bit well let's leave it that way uh, H3 H3. I'm gonna make that a little bigger. Yeah. Welcome to Control Center. Home, register, edit user. If I click register, I go to register form. Home, I go home. Edit user, we don't have yet. Delete user, we don't have yet. Okay. Um, so let's go. Let's go. Well, I have to change this because I don't want this to be this way. Because I'm going to use um, the links in uh, other files. And I want them to be in the same line, not to be one uh, beneath the other. So I'm going to do that also, um, only for the home. So here is where I'm going to type what I have here which is the H3 and center paste and uh, paste let's close this let's close this close that and uh, save that and let's take that out out and uh, Take that out. Save that. Let's see that now. Okay, that's cool. Let's give a little bit more space here. And uh, I'm going to show you a little trick from HTML and which is to give a little bit of space and SPP. It's not an SPP, it's NB SP. Let's save that. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Okay, you see? We give we give the um, between home and register a little bit of space. And let's type that. Let's copy that. And did and paste it for all of the others let's, that's it perfect okay so register set home okay perfect so now uh, I want to include as well uh, this 
okay uh, these um, links into for example the register form here below okay I want to do that for all the pages in our website okay so simple it's very simple we just have to take this copy or you can copy all this copy and um, uh, let's go to the form in here paste let's save that let's go to register and there it is home register user if we click home we go to home register okay guys perfect so um, I forgot let's put also the C data in one of these um, links okay so this is very simple let's go to links and let's do this a href equals and uh, it's insert dot php and here let's say um, c data Okay, and we can type now as well the N BSB symbol. Save that. And now you'll see C data. We don't go there. C data. Why it doesn't work? Oh, it's not insert. Sorry, guys. It's output. It's not insert it's out put okay so save that refresh and see data perfect okay and uh, here let's take this out and in the form here let's delete this and save that and that's it pretty much it so if we go Let's refresh. Perfect. If we go home, home register, edit user, uh, see data. So edit user and delete user will not work because we don't have those scripts yet ready. But if we click see data, okay, and in here we can also make just a second. We can also put the links here, okay. So uh home copy and insert and in here it's not insert is output paste perfect save that and refresh perfect okay so home register and edit user we don't have see data there it is the data the let user we don't have okay perfect okay we have uh, a more presentable website now okay a quick control okay guys so this is all for the video in the next video we will uh, continue uh, to uh, update or how to um, make our credit control center uh, fully functional. Okay, so see you guys in the next video. Bye